Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, have you ever been, uh, you know, at the uh, short end of the stick when it comes to a scam? But often you think, you know, why didn't people see through this? You yes. know, why couldn't they see that this there was something online you know, scams, funny internet about scams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like for instance, Julie Turcotte, our one of our directors here on the show, she received a call from somebody who sounded very legitimate saying, May I please speak with Madame Turcotte? You might have a problem with your computer. Uh, this is Windows calling. We need to access your computer. Then they go in and they freeze it. And then you have to pay them oh my gosh. money. Wow. To un and, you know, they, she said that they sounded so legitimate. But next, we've got Terry Cutler in from Digital Locksmiths. He calls himself an ethical hacker. He'll tell you everything you need to know about multiple scams that have happened locally, how you can protect yourself. Don't get duped. Good morning, Montreal. on Global Montreal. Good morning, Montreal. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday morning. Terry Cutler is here this morning. Thanks for being with us. Pleasure. And he is with uh, Digital Locksmiths and calls himself an ethical hacker, working with the RCMP's anti-fraud group to help get some of these bad guys. Yep. Um, and, you know, today, let's talk about some of uh, the most recent scams we've been seeing. Tell us about this luxury car scam. Okay, so I got contacted uh, back in January where a woman said I needed, I needed some type of investigation done because she bought an expensive car online, so I'm thinking, why would you buy a $250,000 car online? But because the car was like $75,000 off, I fig figured, oh, this will be the best price. So sure enough, she, uh, she got there the vehicle, got all the car facts information. Everything came out legit. And so I said, okay, send, send, send $10,000 10, 10, to our U.S. account to make sure it's, it's as a deposit. Mm. It goes through. But they said, if you want to send the, the other $200,000, it's going to set off an anti-money laundering alarm. But okay. if you send it to our Slovakian account, oh boy, and it'll they sound work. so legitimate. So sure enough, it was sent through, and Did that's it. Did she see the car at all? No, no. She saw pictures. Right, that's one of the problems. So these luxury car scams can be found on Kijiji. Yes, there, there are actually twelve other victims got scammed as well. Oh my so goodness. So it's on the uh, RCMP uh, anti-fraud list as well. Another popular one, ransomware. First of all, can you just explain what it even is? Sure, ransomware is when you receive a call from someone like Microsoft. Okay. Where they'll call you up and say, your computer is causing errors, I want to come in and fix it. So sure enough, some victims will actually let them remote control into their computer. They'll get installed an antivirus, which is fake, and it actually locks their computer and says, you cannot use this computer until you pay me one to three hundred dollars. Oh. And uh, until you pay that ransom, you're not getting your computer back. Oh, and the thing is that they just sound so legitimate. Sure. So I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these guys for over a year. So sure enough, he called up one of my relatives and he sent me over the call. So you, one of your relatives received a call from one of these Microsoft scammers. That's right. And so you got a, you picked up the phone. Yeah. So I have what's called a bait computer. It's where um, I let hackers or some people come into this thing, do whatever they want to it, including steal my files. But my files have uh, a tracking device in them. Okay, so that's the through your business digital that's it. locksmith. So through digital locksmith, we offer active defense technology where we're able to track and locate hackers and attackers and scammers. So sure enough, he sold a file and opened it. And when it opens, it puts a little pin right on the globe where he is. So you were able to track this scammer. That's right. And that's happening pretty often, I that's think. Right. And it was at his consent because he stole my files and he opened right. it. Hmm. Um, another one that we should talk about is this recent Kijiji scam. A right. woman emailed our station saying that she lost money after trying to get One Direction tickets right. on Kijiji. Yeah. How and did I, that happen? And I heard your version of it, so I thought uh, I was waiting for the CD version. Okay. <laughs> when you sang the song, <laughs> um, the uh, the way that worked was she she emailed via email money transfer, which is not always trackable. But sure enough, like you know, everything came through. The the, the scam looked so legit. And the guy was with her every step of the way. That's right. Uh, she well, sent him the money. She spoke to him. Oh yeah. Even said, okay, you got to open up a, uh, a you know Ticketmaster account. Here, I'll walk you through it. Here's what the screen's gonna look like. Everything looked completely legit. It's very very hard to to notice you're in a scam until it's really too late. How much money did she lose? About 850 bucks. Oh my goodness. And you actually have been in touch with the woman. Yes, so I've been in touch with her for a couple a couple of days. And uh, sure enough, last night we. Uh, 
uh, I don't give too, too much away, but we sent a, a file to the, to the gentleman, and sure enough, he opened it. And, and that allowed you to track him. Yes, so we, as of this morning, we, we have a good idea of where he is. Terry Cutler, you're like an online <laughs> hero. You're just catching all the bad guys in the, uh, in the World Wide Web. Well, that's what we're here for. Amazing stuff. Can you tell us, for our viewers, a few warning signs, things that they can do to protect themselves. What are the things that, that should set them off? Sure. So obviously the first one is, you know, buyer beware, where if the price is too good to be true, it probably isn't. But it's very hard to say that these days because um, the scams are so well prepared and you don't know until it's too late. So, but you do want to keep that in mind. If it's too good to be true, you should be asking right. questions. And if you're buying tickets for, for an event concert, don't go through Kijiji or these other sites. Just go through Eventco right. or through the artist's website. That'll be your best bet. How about these professional photographs? Okay, so this is what happens a lot of times. Where It happens to me on Twitter all the time where people add me or contact me, and they're like the most beautiful people on the planet. They're like right. supermodels. I'm like, wow, this is odd. Yeah. So sure enough, whenever a scammer is going to send you photos of themselves uh, as proof, it most likely will be like a supermodel or something. Right. Cause or they, a photo shoot, and it's a, cause that's the first sign. And a lot of the time, they claim to be, uh, you know, Canadian citizens. That's what, that's the other thing. Uh, if they if they send you an email and there's tons of spelling mistakes in this thing because they can they claim to be Native American born. Or even just badly constructed sentences yeah, sometimes. Yeah, exactly. You, that's, that's obviously a warning sign right there. Yeah, but then a lot of the time when you're on Kijiji and, and you're interacting with people, they have poor grammar, but you think there's immigrants, uh, you know, you, yeah. you just feel like everybody ha has yeah. poor grammar, right? One of the things, if, if they send you a phone number, maybe Google that phone number and sometimes it'll tell you, did you receive a call from this phone number? And then all of a sudden there'll be a, a thread of discussion that, oh, this guy got scammed and such. So that's one way you can find out. Another thing about that you should look out for is just any time the money isn't cash. Right. Yeah, that's that's the other thing. If 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 they ask you to send money through non-traceable routes, such as uh, what it, the uh, TransUnion or the other types of sites, uh, that's one way you'll you'll actually lose your money. And the reality is, I guess that what should we know? How do we know if something is legit? Is it that any time your bank needs information from you, they will call you, or like should you just go into your bank and do it person to person? Yeah, I would, I would do it some type of tra uh, tractional way. So if you can do a wire transfer, that's trackable. So you know where it's going. At least the banks will be able to do some due diligence on the other end. Right. But a lot of times, like if you're on Kijiji and stuff, and, and the guy's selling you know, three tickets for one direction, but there's a picture of four or five tickets, that's obviously a sign too. Right, okay, good to know. Terry Cutler, Digital Locksmith, thank you for being with I us. I appreciate it, thank you for having me on. Stay with us, Montreal. Richard is up next. <laughs>